What is the bounce? The bounce is when playing a jump shot, the cue ball jumps over the object ball and bounces towards the ball you're aiming for. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you a few little things to look for that's gonna help you control that cue ball on a jump shot when using this bad boy. Also, stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna explain how one of you followers, that's right, one of you subscribers, is gonna win the new Predator Air Rush Jump Cue. Now, I know what you're thinking, what is this English lunatic talking about when he's talking about the bounce? Well, let me show you. If I was playing a jump shot here to pot the five, to stay on the six, to control this cue ball, you don't want to be flinging this dead far because when it bounces, it's going to hit the five, balls are going to go off the table, you're going to smash glasses, ruin everything in the pool room, whatever. You need this to get landing and then skidding along the slate. So you want minimum two bounces. And then on the third, it starts to skid. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you a slow-mo after this. So it's going to go one, two, and then it starts to skid along the slate, which causes... After potting the ball, the stop shot for the six. That is what we're after. That is how we're going to control the cue ball. Take a look. Who doesn't love a sexy slow-mo? There you could see, jumped over the ball, two bounces, then it skids towards the object ball and that is where the control comes from. Talking of control, I'm going to show you another slow-mo in what often happens when the cue ball jumps over the ball and lands a little too close to the ball you're trying to pot or hit. Usually it's a one bouncer, hits the object ball and it can fly off the table. Check this out. As you could see with both slow-mos, that proves you need to get that cue ball over the ball, landing quicker and get it skidding towards the object ball. That's on long jump shots. So don't go counting your bounces. Just get used to trying to visualize that skid and try and get hitting your object ball cleaner, more full on, and you'll see the ball stop dead. Now, other jump shots. Hmm, tricky. Let's delve into it. Now on this jump shot, we don't have as much distance, cue ball to the object ball, unlike the first one, where we had the full length of the table, we had that landing space, two bounds, bit of a skid, stop the cue ball. Now this is not as easy. Often you see players jump over, get a little bit too far with the cue ball, pop the ball and the cue ball flies off. I'm sure you've all seen it or done it. I certainly have. So what do we do here? Do we play a one bounce onto the ball? If we do, we've got to make sure we hit this one ball, not on the top, very difficult. Or do we try and get the cue ball bouncing a little higher and land in this area instead of this area? If you do do that, it will still bounce twice. I'm gonna show you on the slow-mo. If you can get over quicker, two bounce, you can stop the cue ball. Let me have a go now in uh, real speed and then I'll show you the slow-mo. And it's often not very easy from this position to obviously stop the cue ball. It looks easy, but so many times you see the cue ball move around. Obviously, we're trying to hold for the blue too. You could see just before it got to the one, it bounced again, and that made the cue ball kill over on that side of the table. Check this slow-mo. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when we get the cue ball too far, so closer to the object ball, which is still the one ball, and then it bounces and hits high on the object ball. Watch the cue ball.
And you see it bounced once, hit the top as it was going up, and it will always fly off the table. And give your opponent ball in hand. That is not what we want. Giving up ball in hand is a definite no-no in pool. That's why these jump shots, there's a lot more to them than you guys think. Here's a slow-mo to prove what might happen when that ball jumps over, bounces very close to the object ball, a one bouncer, usually it flies off the table or it loses control. Let's have a look. I know what you're thinking, we're halfway through this video, is this guy for real? He's talking about his bouncy balls. But if you want to become more consistent with the jump cue, it's about understanding the distance of certain jump shots and where to land the cue ball. That was going to give you more control. So not only are you just trying to pop the ball, now we're trying to play cue ball position, stop shots. Sometimes you see the players draw the cue ball back. Jason Shaw is very good at that type of shot. And this is going to give you a better understanding. Now onto the last jump shot. This is very difficult. It's a little bit wild. Let's go. So we're playing eight ball, played an absolute shocking positional shot. Left myself in this situation. Can't come off this rail and pot the eight. Obviously we're on the eight ball, so we can't be going up and down and all this. We've got to play the jump shot. We don't have any space to jump over and land it here. It's going to pop over. We could probably just get it there, to be fair. This is one of them where we've got to jump over, no bounces and land the cue ball on the eight to pot it. Very difficult. If we overshoot it, it's going to fly off. But we've no choice. We've played a garbage shot. But it's about understanding what jump shot you've got to play. That is why the better players are the better players, because they know. So we're going to try and jump over and hit the eight to pot it in the corner. Well, we missed the eight, but we hit it where I want. That was a one-take wonder. I'm not going to redo it. It is what it is. But I will show you in slow-mo. You can see the cue ball jumps over and it has to land on that object ball. It's a very difficult shot. It's a shot... You should practice. It does come up now and again where you have to land the cue ball on the object ball. And if it lands too high, the cue ball often flies off the table or over the ball. So practice that. Guys, there's three different types of jump shots. And it's all about understanding when you see a particular jump shot, how far you have to get the cue ball bouncing over the object ball. This is what the top pros are very good at. They understand the elevation needed and all them type of things. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Last but not least, I'm going to tell you guys how you can win this Predator Air Rush Jump Cue. Predator Air Rush Predator Qs have been around, well, as long as I've been around, that's for sure. And they have made some quality jump cues over the years. There's a review video coming soon, so stay tuned for that. To win this jump cue, as soon as they hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a random draw on the channel. One of you subscribers will win this jump cue. The very jump cue I've used in this video and the review video. So just hit the subscribe button. If you've got any pool friends, pool family, tell them to hit the subscribe button. 10,000 subscribers. One of you guys will win this cue. That's a wrap, guys, for this video. I hope you've enjoyed talking about my bouncy balls. Who'd have thought when I first started playing pool 20 years later, I'd be talking about my bouncy balls. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like. I won't say subscribe. I've said it too many times in this video. No, fuck it, I will. Hit the subscribe button. The first 10,000 people want to use is going to win a brand new Predator Air Rush Jump Cube. Well, nearly brand new. I've used it in this video. See you soon.